Hello and welcome everyone. So today we launched something pretty big and it gives me immense pleasure to show you our latest and greatest Analytics Dashboard 2.0. Now it's uh, it's been almost three years practically since we launched Whatnot and we haven't shipped any major update to our Analytics Dashboard. And that coupled with a lot of uh, customer feedback, we realized that uh, Makeover was due. And that's what this update is about. Now, that being said, let's uh, take a look at what these uh, update is about. So there are five uh, main things that we improved upon on this uh, new Android dashboard 2.0. And they are the improved user experience. We added some new KPIs. Uh, the visualization of this these KPIs have been made better. Uh, some more options for you to drill down on this data to get more insights. And a new dashboard for an agent analytics. Uh, let's take a look at uh, each area one by one. So starting with the analytics dashboard itself, as you would uh, firstly see is we categorized all these KPIs into three different sections. So you have the performance, you'll have acquisition, and lastly, engagement. And as the name suggests, performance shows you all the KPIs which are related to the performance of the chatbot, meaning uh, the amount of value the bot is providing to you as a business, Acquisition tells you like how many inquiries is the bot generating, how many conversations the bot is handling, and where is it handling uh, where is it handling most of these chats from. And lastly, you have engagement, which tells you like uh, at what time during the day is the bot interacting the most, and within the conversation flow, how deep are people interacting, and where are people dropping off. Now I'll walk you through each KPA one by one pretty quickly so that you have an idea of uh, what uh, each of them mean. So starting off with performance, the first KPI is business value generated. So what this KPI tells you is uh, the total number of contacts or leads the bot generated multiplied by uh, what is the value of each contact according to you for your business. Now, I know you must be thinking, where does this uh, number come from? So we made it completely variable. So you can just head over to settings and under account, you'll find details. So you can come here and define what is the value of each lead or each contact that the bot generates. And likewise, you can define like every hour saved uh, with the help of a bot, what is it you know, saving you as a business? So you can define these numbers here and uh, that's how this number is being populated. Uh, next, we have hours saved. So as the name suggests, like uh, the total number of hours the bot saves by interacting on behalf of your team uh, that's mentioned here, and this is in hours. And cost saved is a derivation of uh, the number of hours saved multiplied by what is uh, that hours worth of time for your business. You have the customer satisfaction rating. So at the end of the chat, we have a, a quick survey where we ask visitors to rate the chat uh, from one to five stars. So you can see the average rating as well as how many people had rated for each uh, you know rating option, like from five stars to one star, you can see that total count here. Uh, next up, you have the average conversation duration. So uh, what is the average duration of a chat that the bot is handling? So the bot may be having thousands of chats happening every day, but what is the average length of the chat for all these uh, conversations the bot takes care of? You have the engagement percentage. So the moment the chat widget is opened up on uh, the website, um, how many people are actually interacting with it and going one step deeper into the you know chatbots flow so that's that conversion percentage as the name suggests like from all the people speaking with the bot how many are actually converting to inquire leads or how many are actually giving their name or email or phone number that helps you see the conversion percentage of the bot and lastly we have abandonment percentage so you have defined a flow but uh, Maybe not everyone is completing it. So you know like what percentage of the audience is you know, not completing that entire flow and that number is visible here. Next you have acquisitions. So under that, the first KPI is conversations. So basically how many conversations the bot handles for you uh, for that period of time. Uh, likewise, you have contacts. So for that same period of time, how many contacts the bot generated for the business. And uh, we have some more details about conversations and contacts uh, sp uh, grouped by a specific uh, unit. So here you can see like uh, uh, grouped by location, uh, what are the number of uh, conversations the bot handle and how many contacts uh, did the bot generate for that location. 
and that's that you have visitors so how many individual visitors have spoken with the bot so you can see that number here as well because uh, you know a single visitor may have had multiple chats with the bot so you can see the total number of uh, you know new visitors that spoke with the bot and lastly coming to engagement so in engagement you can see uh, how often are people or when is when are people speaking with your chatbot the most uh, in terms of time of day as well as you know day of the week as well so you can see that number here and you can hover on any one of them to uh, see the actual number of uh, chats that are taking place and the last kpi is uh, flow engagement so uh, when you make a conversational flow uh, there are several action blocks that you use to make up that uh, you know chatbot so here you can see like uh, how many people are reaching that specific point within the flow and how many are exiting from that point. So how many are hitting or reaching that point within the flow and how many are not going forward, meaning they are dropping off from there. So you can see those numbers here. And so while I have shown you all these KPIs, you may have uh, wonder, you have seen that uh, all of these KPIs have, uh, you know, a, a different look to it uh, compared to what we usually had. So you can yeah, you know hover on each uh, bar and specifically on each color and see the you know total number as well. So that's been improved upon, and you can click on any card and it'll open up a more detailed view where you can see the uh, drill down of uh, uh, that particular KPI uh, specified in terms of like the details that you have given. And if you want to filter down things, you can just you know uncheck by clicking on them and you know quite beautifully <laughs> displays all the data for you. So it's quite easy to, you know, generate insights and uh, you know, see specifically uh, for a specific KPA. And for all of you that may have not had a lot of experience in, uh, you know, looking at chatbot analytics, we also have defined a lot of uh, tips and, uh, you know, some feedback that we have gathered over the past uh, three years building, you know, over uh, 3,000, 4,000 bots. So from uh, the insights that we have, we have given tips here so that you can read these tips and implement them and, you know, increase the numbers. So it may be the number of hours saved or, uh, you know, the amount of uh, leads that the bot generates for you. So that's that. And... Uh, uh, you can uh, now see the data individually for a specific bot or if you have multiple bots you can see the data of all the bots uh, you know combined uh, together and uh, you can uh, drill down on the data so as you see like uh, there are different colors that you see here now the reason you see different colors is because there's a grouping applied to it and uh, to show you an example let me just open contacts generated so here you can see the contacts generated which is grouped by location so since I have um, the location country wise, so you can see like which country is contributing to the most number of leads or chats. And likewise, we have a lot of different uh, drill down options. Like you have web page. So from which page are people, you know, interacting with the board the most? Uh, we have referral. So from before coming to your website, where are people coming to you from? Like it could be google.com, Bing, Yahoo, etc. And you have uh, your standard metrics, which is UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign. So you can click on any one of them and it'll just show you the metrics of uh, uh, data uh, according to that uh, grouping. So as you see, it's pretty quick. So we also made a lot of performance improvements. So at any point of time, no matter what uh, data range you select and uh, uh, no matter uh, what sort of grouping you select, the data is being fetched pretty quickly. So that's about uh, chatbot analytics. Now, we recently launched a live chat because we had a lot of customers uh, using live chat because they already had a team in place uh, and they wanted the bot to complement this team. And uh, they have been asking us uh, for a lot of, uh, uh, they have been giving us rather a lot of uh, feedback on the kind of KPIs they would be interested in looking at. And uh, looking into these KPIs and needs, we launched, we are launching a new dashboard for agent analytics so you can quite easily shift through chatbot analytics and agent analytics through this drop down here and you can see all the kps that we made uh, again categorized into two sections which is the overall activity as well as the agent wise activity so the overall activity shows you all the kps which are uh, you know a combination uh, which are an aggregate for the entire team so if you have a team of 10 agents this is the overall numbers of all these 10 people 
and agent is an agent wise activity talks to you about uh, the performance of a specific individual so it's the same kpis but you can see the data for each person or each agent now what those kpis are uh, we have currently serving so how many chats are right now being handled by your agents and how many agents are handling these chats you have total served so for that particular date range how many chats did the bot handle and in total how many agents were involved in you know providing service uh, to these uh, customers uh, you have the average so how many chats are uh, your agents handling on an average which is 345 year you have conversation transfers so uh, when a chat is assigned let's say to me if uh, i had transferred the chat to another colleague of mine uh, that is a transfer so you can see the total number of transfers involved during that date range here and uh, we have some more performance uh, kpis like uh, the amount of time it took for me as an agent to respond to uh, you know the first message that came in so the after the chat was assigned to me how long did it take for me you know to reply back to that uh, customer or visitor you can see uh, two numbers here which tells you like the longest time it took and the average time it takes and same way you can see the usual time to response so like how we have time for the first response here you have the usual time so for every reply that an agent sends uh, how long what is the longest period of time it took for someone and what's the average time it takes uh, for you know their entire team uh, then we have conversation duration so how long does a uh, chat uh, how long is a chat assigned to an agent and you can see the longest and average here as well and lastly the customer satisfaction rating so if at all an agent was involved and at the end of the chat once the chat is marked done if the customer or the visitor has provided feedback you can see that number here and that's visible uh, with the average uh, rating and similarly you can see the uh, same kps specific to each individual so every agent uh, can be selected from this drop down here and you can see those same kps as well so uh, that's uh, what we have for you uh, with this uh, new analytics dashboard hope uh, you guys like it and uh, do let us know if you have any feedback in the comments below or you can just send us an email at hello at the rate whatnot.io and in case you're not using our platform please feel free to you know give it a try we have a completely free freemium model so just head over to our website click on try for free and try it out thank you and see you in the next one bye